really fast. Talk to me, 95 years for Nelson Mandela. A life of excellence. People are calling him the father of his nation. Lincoln and George Washington he's being likened to. What are your thoughts? Well, Nelson Mandela is one of the most important figure, a leader of our time. This man not only liberated South Africa, he helped liberate people all over this planet. We have been inspired by him. I had the great pleasure uh, of meeting him and to be in his presence. You know you're in the presence of greatness. Now you're a civil rights icon here. How was it to meet Nelson Mandela? I mean, you marched with King. How was it to meet Nelson Mandela? The first time when I visited Cape Town after he was released from prison, he uh, grabbed me and he said, I know all about you, and gave me this unbelievable hug. He said, you're my brother. And he started talking about the civil rights movement. He said, you and Dr. King and other inspired me while I was in jail, while I was in prison. And he thanked me, and I thank him. Uh, when I spoke at the march on Washington 50 years ago, I said, one man, one vote is the cry of the people of Africa. It is our cry too. Because I saw a group of black women in Southern Africa carrying signs saying, one man, one vote. Mandela inspired us. Hadn't been for Nelson Mandela. I don't know what we would be as people on this little planet, and on this little spaceship that we call Earth. And let me ask you lastly, today, 95 years for Nelson Mandela, 50 years since the March on Washington, and you're seeing a lot of nonviolent protests right now to try to get justice, um, where people want justice, they want change in laws after the verdict for George Zimmerman. What are your thoughts today? I think it's important for people today, not just young people, but middle-aged people and older people, to continue to engage in nonviolent protests. You have to find a way to dramatize the issue. And as Dr. King said on one occasion, there's not anything more powerful than the marching feet of a determined people. I've been very pleased to see the protest that is going on all across America. Blacks and whites, Latino, Asian America, and Native America. And Congressman, thank you. I want to ask you.